RTD is struggling, of course, to win back writers. Crime and inconsistent schedules are two of the biggest factors. But for some, it's a costly and confusing fare structure. So while RTD tries to solve the first two problems, it hopes cheaper rides make the system more appealing. Gabriella Vidal talked with RTD today, and Gabriella, this is the first fare decrease in history. Yeah, Karen, it's a historic moment, and the reason behind it comes after a year-long review of RTD's transit system and finding ways to make it more equitable, affordable, and simple, which is why riders today say it's a welcome change in improving the transit system as a whole. I pretty much use the RTD nearly every day. It's commuters like 19-year-old Andre Britt that have been taking advantage of RTD's free summer transit rides. But at other times of the year, pricing in part has deterred ridership. It feels free, you know, I'd use it, or real low, I'd use it every day to get ride to get going because traffic has increased over the years, you know, more people moving here. It's been taking longer to get into from work. One of the things we heard was your fares are complicated. We can't understand local versus regional versus airport. Stuart Summers, chief communication and engagement officer with RTD, tells us starting January 1st, 2024, a much cheaper and more consolidated fare system will take effect. It's a big moment. It's monumental. This is what the new pricing will look like. A standard rate of $275 for a three-hour pass wherever you go, or $550 for a day pass. Trips to and from the airport will be $10, but a monthly pass of $88 will get you anywhere in the RTD system. All those prices will be discounted for certain individuals, including seniors and those with disabilities. We believe this is going to uh, increase ridership. It's going to remove those barriers. Some Denver residents still say concerns about safety on transit lines may still stop would-be riders in their tracks. Something Summer says they're continuing to work with transit police and local municipalities to address. To say how can we create an environment, a transit environment that is welcoming, that's accessible, that's inviting, comfortable, convenient. And with this new RTD fare system will also be a 12-month pilot program where people, where youth uh, ages 19 and under will actually be able to ride the transit system for free starting this fall after this free summer period ends. Uh, in Denver, Gabrielle Vidal covering Colorado First.